Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Mike Root. Welcome back to the channel. And today you can see I have several different bows sitting in front of me. The reason for that is I keep getting questions on how to get started in traditional archery. And I had a really long journey to find what I liked. I didn't have a lot of help. I kind of just bought a bunch of bows over the years and found out what was most comfortable for me. So today we're going to go over the basics of what you need and we're going to go over some of the different types of bows that are out there. So to start, the basic kit that you need is your bow, some arrows. You're going to need some sort of arm guard. This one's leather. This one is uh, canvas and plastic. This will help protect your arm from string slap when you're learning how to shoot. You're going to need either a glove or a tab to protect your fingers with the string. I prefer the, uh, the tab. This one happens to be made by Yoast. You're going to need a bow stringer in order to string your bow up because you don't want to leave it strung all the time. And then you're going to need your bow and your arrows. Starting over here, I have the two bows that I shoot the most, which are my striker longbow. And longbows, the string does not touch the end of the limb when it comes off. I have my bare Kodiak Magnum recurve bow. As you can see, the string does touch the end of the limb as it comes off the bow. This is another recurve. This is your basic beginner recurve. It's a great bow. This is my wife's bow. It's a Galaxy Bullseye. We got it at Lancaster Archery. It's a 62 inch, 30 pound recurve bow. You can shoot it off the shelf where it has the slot there that you can put a rest on it. She shoots it off the shelf. She absolutely loves this bow and it's nothing fancy. That's the Galaxy Bullseye. If you're just starting out, that's a great choice. Then we get into bows that are a little more complicated. These are ILF, standing for International Limb Fitting. Um, this bow I built for bare bow. The limbs on here are interchangeable. You can take these limbs and put them on a different riser as long as it's ILF. The same setup for my hunting bow from last year, which is um, the Samic Discovery, is also ILF. So I can take the limbs off of this bow, put them on the last bow, and vice versa. Here's that beginner bow again. I can't I can't recommend this one enough when you're first getting started. It's lightweight. It's only 30 pounds. Uh, it'll it'll get you where you need to go to learn your form. 30 pounds is enough to send an arrow, you know, a good distance, but it's not too heavy for a beginner. In comparison to the 30 pound bow. My hunting bow for this year is uh, 48 pounds, so it's a little bit heavier. You do not need a bow quiver to start out. That's something you can get later on. The arrows that I choose to shoot are the... Um, Gold Tip Warriors, and I build them myself. There's a, a video on my channel on how I do that. 
but they're they're cheap they fly great they do what I need them to do there's there's dozens of different choices on arrows different spines different tip weights that's something that you'll learn um, over time what you'll need how to tune your bow but this is just a video on several different bows you can choose from and I'll put in uh, a couple different links off of Amazon there's some good bow choices that have like the full kit comes with everything comes with the arm guard a glove or a tab comes with some arrows comes with a bow stringer um, and they're they're relatively inexpensive you know you can get a decent starter bow for a little bit under two hundred dollars uh, which really isn't that bad so um, any questions don't hesitate to write me a message um, I can go over any one of these bows more in depth do a review on them if you like but uh, thanks for watching this remember stay focused all right guys check you later Thank <laughs> you.